What's going on guys? It's Modern and today I'm going to be going over the first round of the very first premiere challenge in the United States for the VGC 16 season. Uh, I'm just going to be going over the uh, different matches that I had. Uh, there were four in the Swiss rounds and then there were two top cut rounds that I was in. I actually ended up getting second place at the event so I did go all the way. Uh, but like I said we only had four rounds so we did only have a top four cut. Uh, my opponent right here actually has a VGC 15 team. They told me that they did not have time to get the restricted Pokemon that they wanted, so they just decided to go with the team that they were very comfortable with, and they actually ended up getting top cut, which is pretty cool. I didn't get a chance to play them again, but they did actually make it in, which is pretty good. It shows that they're a good player. Uh, for this lead, my opponent leads Kangaskhan and Thunderous against my Salamence and Cresselia. I figured for this turn my opponent would either go for a Hidden Power Ice or a Thunder Wave onto my Salamence. So I just go for a Double Edge into the Kangaskhan slot and go for a Trick Room. But uh, my opponent actually reveals that he is a speedy Thunderous right here. So he is able to outspeed me and get the one hit knockout. However, this does leave me to get a Trick Room up for free. Uh, it's completely uncontested and he really has no uh, checks to the Trick Room mode. So I do just get a free switch into Kyogre right here. Uh, I do believe it would have been a better play for my opponent to go for the Taunt turn 1. However, I do carry the Mental Herb on my Cresselia just to guarantee that Trick Room. So realistically, there was no way for my opponent to prevent the Trick Room. Barring a Fake Out from Kangaskhan, but again, um, I did Intimidate him, so he really could not have KO'd Cresselia without maybe a double crit. Uh, they do go for the Taunt right here, but as I told you, uh, we do have the Mental Herb on Cresselia. And I just go for the Helping Hand Water Spout to knock out both of his Pokemon. And it just goes to show right there, uh, Kyogre is able to one-hit KO a Cresselia with Water Spout. Which is just completely insane. That it, it, Kyogre is so strong if you leave it at full health. But like I said, my opponent really did not have any good checks to it. This next turn, my opponent brings in Kangaskhan and Landorus. I'm just going to protect and skill swap the Kangaskhan, mainly because I'm afraid that he's both an Assault Vest Landorus... And if he can manage to get a double critical hit or something with Sucker Punch, uh, his Landorus could actually have a chance to survive. Um, sorry, it, it could have a chance to survive the Water Spout or Origin Pulse. So I really just wanted to prevent that. Uh, I go for the Skill Swap on the King to tank away the Parental Bond, and it also prevents the uh, Fake Out from doing any damage to Kyogre since I protect it. This next turn, I'm just going to be able to go for a Helping Hand Water Spout, and the match is pretty much over. Um, so yeah, that was a very, very quick round one for me. I believe it was four turns total that we had, uh, with the Salamence going down, bringing Kyogre, get the one-hit knockout, I protect, skill swap, and then just Helping Hand Water Spout yet again. So, really just goes to show how powerful the Restricted Pokemon are. And that's going to be the end of the first round, guys. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be posting the second round, which is actually against my brother who used the same team. So my first mirror match of this season, and it was a pretty interesting match. As always, guys, thanks for watching.